What is going on guys? Dan the Marketing Man here. Today I'm about to show you guys a coaching call from Matthew. He's actually from the Philippines. He's trying to close some clients for his SMA. So in this video, you're going to see like a very early coaching call that I had with him. It's actually a four week program. So we go over the basics from A to Z how to actually start and scale your agency to $10,000 per month. So I'm actually very excited for Matthew because he had his first sales call, I think on Tuesday, and he's actually gonna follow up and close him on Friday. So big shout out to Matthew, I'm super excited for him. Let's go ahead and check it out. So Matthew, it's our first call today. Um, today, again, we're just gonna go over your calls. I wanna hear how you sound on the phone. So did you record some of the calls from earlier? Yeah, I recorded some videos. Uh, hey, Jameson. Uh, is there any way I can connect with uh, Andy? No, oh, I think it was, uh, it was just a gatekeeper. Yeah, sure. That would be great. Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much. You too. Uh, this was just a gatekeeper. Yeah, you didn't really get a chance to talk to anybody there. Keep going. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Daryl. This is Matthew. Listen, I get about 20 to 30 qualified leads coming to you this month. I want to talk to you more about this, so just uh, call me back whenever you're free. Uh, looking forward to talking to you. Thank you so much. See ya. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, this one's uh, bad. <laughs> yeah. No worries. That's That's okay. <laughs> uh, hey, Anthony. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Hi, uh, hi this is uh, Matthew. How are you? Hi, Matthew. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just calling because uh, I was wondering if you're accepting new clients right now. I'm sorry? I was uh, calling because uh, I was just wondering if you're accepting new clients right now. Okay, okay. Uh, actually, I'm reaching out to uh, agents in the Atlanta area uh, who can at least take on 15 new uh, clients every month. So I just want to know if that's something you can do. I'm just uh, looking for one who can uh, take on these clients. You took the worst phone call I've ever had for sale. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I'm sorry about that, Anthony. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, my bad, my bad. Yes. <laughs> All right, you can stop it right there. Yeah, I okay. didn't know what to say uh, with uh, with that. That's okay. That's okay. So mm -hmm. just before, so before I actually give you some help here, what do you think you could have done better? Uh, I think I could have uh, challenged his, uh, his uh, objection more or. Maybe he thought I was uh, reading a script. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think I, I should have challenged uh, his objection. Okay. Is there anything else? Those are good. Those are good answers, by the way. I'm just trying to get an idea. Like I'm trying to see if you can identify what you're doing wrong. So like, is there anything else that you feel like you could have done better? Uh, I think it's uh, it's with my my tone. I think. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, but but uh, during this call, I didn't bother to uh, to challenge his objection because uh, I think it uh, it won't go anywhere. So yeah, I just decided not to uh, to uh, handle it, handle the objection. Okay, so let me help you out here. So first of all, I'm super glad that you're actually taking action and you're making the calls. Mm -hmm. That is super important to me, and I'm glad you're doing that. One thing that I could say for that call is that you didn't really sound like you knew what you were doing. Okay. Which is, which is okay because you're brand new. Mm -hmm. That's totally fine. So the reason why I say that is because you said, uh, a lot. You're like, um, okay. uh, um, so that's probably why he felt like, or why he said, this is the worst sales call I've mm -hmm. ever heard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and to be honest with you, I'm very glad 
and I really appreciate that you can laugh at it because it's supposed to be funny. Like it's, it's supposed to be like, it's not serious. I'm glad you're really not taking the rejection personally. I'm glad you're not even taking the criticism personally, because that's really hard to overcome. You yeah. know, when you get a call like that, it is very rare. It is very rare. You'll have somebody insult you on a call like that, but I'm glad that you're able to, again, you know, just, you know, not take it personally. And that's super important when you're making cold calls. You cannot take rejection personally. Yeah, but but after that call, I, I took like a little bit of time to, uh, yeah, to call another one again. Respect. I know exactly how you feel because I, I did the same thing. I would like literally take a break before I moved on to the next one. Um, but that But that all comes with time and experience. You just have to build that muscle of not caring. I talk about this a little bit in my, in my recent videos, but it's like almost having like a fuck it mentality, right? Where it's like, it's okay. It's okay to mess up. It's okay to get rejected. It's okay to get insulted because they're not saying no to you, right? They just don't want a sales call. So first of all, I'm glad you can take that. But the things that I want you to focus on are memorizing your script a little bit better and also working on the, uh, the, um, mm -hmm. uh, and there's two reasons why. So if you memorize your script, it'll start to sound like you're a real person having a real conversation. Mm -hmm. And we talked about this a little bit last night. Um, because you know, I was saying like, you know, in our last conversation yesterday, like, Hey, you should probably practice your script a little bit more like role play to yourself. If you have somebody in your house, like, at, like when I first started, I would role play to my girlfriend and like, she would like, you know, I would read my script. She would give me rebuttals and objections. So if you have somebody that you can role play with, that's great. I do that every single morning at 8 a.m. Pacific. If you're available, you feel free to jump on one of our calls. Okay. We do role playing every single morning. Um, and that'll just help you practice like a real live phone call like that. Mm -hmm. So practice the script, memorize it, because when you start to memorize it, and you get an objection like on that call when he's like, okay, well, what is this about? You can start to give that rebuttal from memory. And when you do that, you can start to add your own personality. Like, for example, if he said that to me and he's like, yeah, I mean, what is this call regarding? I'd be like, okay, really quick. I know you probably get calls like this all the time. I'm just trying to find one loan officer right now that I can work with per state. Are you available to take on more clients? And when you say it like that, it sounds more real. It's not like, okay, um, we're looking for one loan officer in Atlanta that we can work with. And I was trying to see if you're, so there's a huge difference in tonality. And the only difference is that one of them, I memorize my objection and one of them I'm reading a script. And so I recommend that you still read it, even if you memorize it. But if you just keep saying those same lines over and over and over again, you'll start to memorize them. And again, as you start to memorize it, you'll start to sound like you're having a real conversation with somebody. So I think that's the biggest problem that 99% of cold callers have with no experience. That is like people who are just starting out cold calling. The problem is they're reading a script and they're not really focused on having a conversation. And that's okay because again, you're brand new. You're just learning the script. The fastest way to overcome this problem is to just memorize the script, get better at the script. Mm -hmm. If you know your script, like the back of your hand, you can start to say it in your own personality and then people will start to trust you. Mm -hmm. Like for example, this morning when I did my meeting with my appointment setters, I played them the zoom call that I recorded last night between us both. The zoom okay. call that we had last night when I told you to read your script, I played that for them. And I was like, guys, what do you think he could have done better? What do you think Matthew could have done better? And they said, well, it just sounds like he's reading a script. And also there was like too much filler. Those are the two things that they said that was like the biggest problem. And I agree because, um, you know, I do the training with them every day. What I'm telling you I tell them every single day. So it's the same training that I give my appointment setters where, you know, when you memorize the script, you can start to have real conversations and then people will trust you. Okay. Gotcha. So that's the main thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's uh, that sounds good. Do you have questions on that? Uh, no, no. 
Uh, okay. I don't know if any questions Here, play one more. Play one more that actually answered the phone. Mm, I think this one's uh, good. Uh, hello, uh, is this Caroline? Yes, this is Caroline. Okay, uh, hey Caroline. Uh, my name is uh, Matthew, how are you? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing great as well, thanks for asking. So yeah, I was just calling because I was wondering if you're uh, accepting new clients right now. You who are you with now? Uh, actually, I'm, I'm not a company, so uh, I was just uh, reaching out to uh, agents in the city, uh, in Atlanta specifically, uh, who can at least take on 15, a minimum of 13 new clients uh, each month. So I just want to know if that's uh, something you can do. Yeah, so uh, I'm actually doing uh, social media marketing for uh, realtors. So I'm just looking for one, uh, one to two uh, realtor who I can partner with in, in your area. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so yeah, uh, right okay. now we provide a uh, buyer and seller acquisition through uh, Facebook uh, paid advertising. Uh, and uh, we back it up by a follow-up system as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah uh, so uh, I would like to uh, talk to you more about this uh, you're probably uh, really busy right now so is there any way that we can set another time uh, for a call just a short call Okay, so uh, do they specifically offer uh, Facebook advertising as well? Facebook, mm -hmm. LinkedIn, advertising, mm -hmm. uh, leading party, uh, other sites. Oh. Yeah. Okay, uh, gotcha, gotcha, fair enough. So uh, are the leads you're, uh, you're getting from them uh, shared with other realtors as well? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I'm assuming that your uh, website is uh, bringing you leads, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Sounds, uh, sounds good. All right, pause it, pause it. So, yeah, I think mm. you're up. Uh, okay, yeah, um, one thing that I'm going to say right away is... I'm actually very impressed by the way that you're actually like asking really important questions. Mm -hmm. You know, you're asking her like, okay, great. You're getting leads now, but are they even good? Are you sharing mm -hmm. these leads with anybody else? Are you getting leads from Facebook advert? Like it's really good that you're asking those questions because I can tell that your comprehension of English is very good. And those are mm -hmm. like really good skills that you need to have. Like when mm -hmm. you can identify like, uh, like something like that, right? Like she's like, okay, I already have leads. And when she, you can identify like, okay, maybe there's a problem with her leads. That is a great skill to have. And I'm glad you asked those questions like, okay, well, great. You have leads, but are they good? You know, mm -hmm. are you sharing them with anybody? So anyways, I thought that was really good. But by listening to the call, what do you think you could have done better? Um, when I started the call out, uh, she was uh, asking me the questions that there was uh, like dead air. I wasn't, I wasn't saying anything. I was waiting for her to respond and to ask questions. But yeah, I think I, think I uh, got back to it by uh, 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 asking her some questions. So yeah, I think that was really one mistake that I, could, uh, I have done. Okay. Okay, yeah. So it's exactly the same things that we're already talking about. All right. So just, you know, memorizing the script a little bit better. Um, but there's one more thing that I want to tell you because I also want you to write a list of common objections that you're getting 
Because what are some of the common objections that you're getting right now? Which was one was, I'm not interested. One was, what do you guys do? And the second was, who are you? Where are you calling from? Right? Those are the three biggest ones you're going to get. And I already saw you get some of them right then. So you have to be prepared for those questions. Like, for example, if you give somebody like an offer, like, yeah, just trying to see if you're available to take on 50 new uh, you know, leads this month. Where are you calling from? Mm -hmm. You weren't prepared for that. Which is okay, yeah. which is totally fine. We just need to be able to write that down on the script and then practice those rebuttals because as you start to do more and more cold calls, you'll start to anticipate those objections. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you'll start to like predict those objections. Like you, you're going to be in the middle of saying, just wonder if you're interested in getting like in the middle of you saying that you're already going to know that they're going to say they're not interested. You already know that they're going to say, who are you? So in the middle of you saying, are you interested in getting, you're already ready with the rebuttal. Mm -hmm. So you're like this. Yeah. I just wanted to see if you're interested in getting some new leads. Well, who are you guys? Well, first of all, my name is Matthew and I'm calling from XYZ. And I was just trying to find like one or two realtors that I can work with per state. Okay. And when you start to say it like that, right? Like, like you're quick, like you're quick, you're sharp. You know what you're doing. You know why you're on the call. People will trust you. Okay. And that's the biggest key I can give you right now. So um, as you start to practice it more, you'll start to memorize it. You'll be able to say a rebuttal without even looking at it. And when that happens, they'll trust you way more. So that's all the training I'm going to give you for today. We'll do the same thing yeah. again tomorrow. So mm -hmm. practice those rebuttals, practice your script a little bit more, work on the, um, uh, work on that a little bit. And mm -hmm. then also, can you make it tomorrow at 8 a.m.? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Because if you can do that, if you can make it to my meeting tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific, I will have you role play with my appointment setters. Okay. Yeah. And we can okay. do like more training. So before you get on the phone, we'll do role playing. So that way you're prepared. Does that work? Yeah, that works. Okay. Awesome. So Matthew, great job. I'm super freaking happy that you're taking action and recording your calls. <laughs> Those are two super important things. And that tells me that you're serious. So Matthew, great freaking work. I'm super proud of you. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. Okay. Yeah. See you, man. Thank you so much. Okay, for sure. So tomorrow I'll send you a link through Instagram and uh, yeah, just be ready for the meeting tomorrow. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Matthew. I'll talk to you then. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. It was just a little coaching call between me and Matthew. So you can see some of the coaching, some of the you know trainings that we do inside the coaching. So if you guys are serious about getting some coaching from me, you can actually check that out in the description right now. There's only a few spots available because I was opening up just a few here and there just to test it out. But now that we have an actual full curriculum for four weeks, you guys can check it out. So go ahead and click the link in the description and I'll see you guys when I see you guys.